this video, I will walk you through a simple process of preparing and submitting self-built e-invoice through million accounting software. So I will provide two situations, two examples, which is first is to submit self-built e-invoice for foreign supplier. And another one is for individual supplier, which doesn't issue invoice to your company. So you need to issue the self-built e-invoice to prove your expenses. Okay. So first one, I show you how to create the creditor first. I go to creditor and creditor maintenance. Okay. So here is the information for my USD supplier. I need to fill in the address, phone number, and email is optional. And then for foreign supplier, I don't have their business registration number. So I need to choose the tax identification number for EI000030, which is import transactions where foreign suppliers team is not available or not provided. Okay, then I click save. Next is for creditors of supplier that is an individual such as a freelancer service or an individual that provides a rental of house or shop flats but they didn't uh, have a company. So I need to issue self-built to prove my expenses. So for this supplier, you fill in the name, address, phone number, email, and then this one you need to provide his IC. And if he didn't give you his team number, so you put EI00010, which is supplier only provide PRN or passport. Okay, but if your supplier provide the TIN number, not the IC, so you put 0000 at the IC, but you need to provide the TIN number. Okay, so these are my two creditors. And then for self bill, you need to do some setting. So I need to go to system, administrative tool, and then go to document number. Okay, and then I need to add a new document number, which is for self bill. Okay. So this one is I already added. So if you don't have in your million system, you need to click add. After you click add, you need to put the type is purchase invoice. The document you type in purchase invoice for self bill. And then the prefix you need to type for self. Okay. You need to set the data access point to e-invoice so that you can immediately send your purchase invoice to LSTM portal after click save. Okay, now after created this document number for purchase invoice for self bill, now I can start to create purchase invoice. Now you go to purchase and then go to purchase invoice. Now I want to issue self bill invoice for my foreign supplier. So I click add. First thing you need to change the document number to the purchase invoice for self bill that you have just created just now. And then click OK. And then the supplier code I choose for USD supplier. And then the product code I choose magazine. Save product and then save. So here you can immediately submit the transaction to e invoicing portal. Click yes. Okay. Next, I also choose for self bill purchase invoice, and then it is for my USD supplier also. But this time, I didn't want to immediately submit, so I click no. Then cancel. So now I have created two documents for self bill e invoice. One is already submit, and one is not yet submit. So to check the status, I need to go to purchase. Purchase reports, e invoice document, okay, and then the document type I choose self built invoice. Show document I choose both because I need to see the document that have been sent and not sent yet. And then the date here I choose for first of November until the thirtieth of November, and then I click refresh. Okay, so now these are the two document that I have created just now, self sixteen and self seventeen. 
So you can see the first one, self 16 is already sent because I already clicked the immediately submit of the save the purchase invoice. But I still need to check whether the document is validated or not. So this one is self bill 17, which is I didn't click for immediate submission after save. So I click this document to send to LSJ portal. Records sent. Now both documents already sent, but I need to check the status. So I click document and then click status. Are you sure you want to check the status? Yes. So now the document is already valid. After I click refresh, it changed to validated. Okay. You also can print out the document. So this one I choose tax invoice preview so you can see in this text invoice report it will provide you the LHDN validated link QR code so that you can also scan this QR code to see the status at the my invoice portal okay so next I will create another purchase invoice for my individual supplier that didn't have company so he didn't issue me E invoice so i need to do self bill to prove my expenses first i need to change for purchase invoice for self bill and then i choose my supplier and then i choose the product save do you want to send the transaction to e invoicing portal yes okay so it is already submit then next one uh, let's say uh, you don't want to image this submit so make sure the document number is self 19 and then product code save product save do you want to submit the transition to the invoicing portal no okay now i want to check the status at the e invoice document so i choose purchase purchase report e invoice document self bill invoice show document both the date is 1st of November until 30th of November. Refresh. Okay, so now I created for self 18, which is already submit. And then next is I want to submit for self 19. Okay, I check and then send. Yes. Okay, after send, I want to check the status. Select status. Document valid. After refresh, it changed to validated. That's how simple it is to submit a self bill e invoice using million accounting software. With these straightforward steps, you can ensure compliance with Malaysia's e invoice regulations while managing your supplier transaction effectively. Okay, so to recap, uh, remember to ensure accurate details for your self bill uh, invoices uh, and then submit them within the required timeline and review records for compliance and completeness. Okay, and then if you find this guide is helpful, uh, be sure to check out our other tutorials on managing e invoice and exploring million accounting software features. So, thank you for watching. Bye bye.